today we're going to talk about Harriet Tubman and the effect that she had on the Underground Railroad. First of all, I want you guys to think about who she was, who you think she was, and jot that down on your piece of paper. I'll give you a few seconds to do that and then we're going to go ahead and start the presentation. documents and things, but it's probably between 1820 and 1825. What did she do? Harriet actually escaped from slavery to Philadelphia in 1849. She was originally on the quest with two of her brothers, but they actually decided that they were too afraid to make the trip and that they wanted to return back to the plantation. So once she saw them back home, she made the journey again on her own. Um, her first trip back after she um, get, became free was because she heard that her niece was actually going to be sold. So her niece's husband was actually free, so he had enough money to have the highest speed and buy her. So Harriet came and got her niece, her niece's husband, and their children and took them under the Underground Road to Philadelphia. When the law changed, the Fugitive Slave Law is actually what changed the law. Um, the law stated that escaped slaves could be captured in the North and returned to slavery. Regardless if the officers wanted to or not, they were required to take the slaves back to slavery. Uh, what did she do next? Because of this change of law, she rerouted the Underground Railroad to Canada. After this, she made several trips back to the South, freeing several slaves. She actually says that there's a quote saying that she could have freed more slaves if they had known they were slaves. Um, how did Harriet end up dying? Harriet actually did not die of any... Um, like murder or anything or being captured anything like that she actually died of pneumonia in her old age in 1913 she was actually buried with military honors at the Fort Hill Cemetery in Auburn um, Harriet has left a legacy um, she is known as one of the most famous civilians in American history many cities have been commemorated her many schools are named after her her home in Auburn and a museum in Cambridge surge of monuments to her life and what she accomplished in her life. Uh, because of Harriet's bravery, she saved the lives of many, many slaves and helped shape history as we know it. She will always be remembered for her bravery.